So, you want to make an ARG, or any type of game whatsoever, or maybe you just want to make a TV show, or video, or, or any kind of video game, or even uh, a comic book. I say go out and do it. But, besides that, you want to know actually how to make an ARG. This will also help you with these other types of projects of uh, story creation. Uh, first off, if you don't know what an ARG is, uh, I'll have the links below and I'll probably put links within the video itself to, you know, like probably up here or maybe up here, you know, you'll see them. There'll be links somewhere within the picture frame to, to redirect you to other videos that pertain of that information to more precise detail. I'll give you a few moments. Okay, so you come back and you now have a brief idea of what it is. Um, and the terminology. Well, even if you didn't do that, big deal. Uh, the thing is, with an ARG, you want to do is make very complex puzzles and have clues and basically misdirect people, but also allow them to follow a path, as it were, down your story of a rabbit hole to, to its final conclusion. That's usually how it is. Uh, you might actually be confronted by multiple things that you know of how an ARG is created, what it is. But do not tackle all these things all at once. The first thing is pick out your genre. What kind of a story do you want? Write the story is the next thing, all right? Sometimes, you know, you make the story up first and then the genre and whatever, you know. Uh, but usually picking a genre beforehand usually gives you is kind of a, a building ground, you know, a blueprint of what you want. So not all of them have to be his horror. Yes, you're going to find a lot of them that revive around, revolve around and live on, uh, you know, as horror games or intrigue, mystery, but usually it goes into the dark path of horror when people are being killed and stuff like this. Do you want your people, you know, your players, do you want them included within the story? A good R uh, ARG is one that draws the person into this world of your game. And if you want to include them, make it more uh, sinister. You know, you might want to go even further, but for those that are just going to start, go with your basic social media, uh, make a f make free email accounts, you know, make sure if you really want it do done really cool and right, even if you don't really have enough money, there is a whole mess of applications that you can get for free, editing tools that will help you with this. If you want to go with uh, videos and image, images and stuff. But what you want to do is create your story as realistic as possible, usually. It can be funny, but it, most of them are going to go poor. I know how you people are. That's just how it is. So, once you got your story down, you got your genre down of how you want, now it's coming on to... What form? Like I said, go with the free stuff first. It's a lot easier, a lot cheaper. Such as um, make your get yourself is an email account, or maybe several email accounts. Make sure none of them link back to you with your real name or anything. I know um, if you do this, you're not going to make any money because it's more of a a game for fucking with people and it's a it's a passion it's not really meant to do is make you money but if you want something to make you money then go ahead and probably on your main channel specify that it is a game or tell you know somewhere in mid game tell them you know this is a game but don't put it on the channel or the sites that actually pertain it you just have like let's say your YouTube channel specifying a video saying this is my game project you can look at these you know 
all this stuff. This is just a hit sheet, so you know, you can do that. That's if somebody does follow your stuff and finds out and actually digs deeper and knows it's a game. But if you want it not a game, get dummy email accounts. And with those dummy email accounts, create social media platform accounts such as uh, each one of them a Facebook account uh, or anything that's uh, like Facebook, MySpace, uh, you know, go in other social media sites as well, uh, you know, Tumblr. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not have an ARG that just revolves within Tumblr? Have multiple Tumblr pages. All interlinked with, you know, just to fuck with people, you know? Different Tumblr accounts and whatever. <laughs> From different email accounts, and each one of them has multiple Tumblr accounts. And just put random, weird ass, you know, posts and pictures, you know, just to mess with people. And if you're going to do it on YouTube, if you want to do uh, really creepy videos, uh, do that. Make it as bizarre and unique as possible. Don't need... I, I don't suggest you doing is advertising it. No, you don't really need to do that. Because people that are looking for crazy weird ass shit, they'll find it. And if you want people to really link into this, like if you want noobs, then probably put like, uh, in, uh, you know, your tags such a Just, you know, I don't know. You know, but if you want people to know it's a game, then just put ARG, you know, as the tag or whatever. Game and all this other shit. But making it just weird, people will find the crazy weird shit out there. They will. That's kind of what the dark side of YouTube is. It's kind of hidden, but eh, people do find it. They do run across this crazy ass shit. Uh, have your titles of your videos be very, uh, uh, like, cryptic or just bizarre nature or even just a mundane title. But have within the image of the video itself very bizarre, strange, um, have hidden, you know, images, you know. Like, people actually have to look into it and stop it and see, uh, let's say, there's a number behind them or a series or whatever. Or they're able to do is download the video and look at the chroma of the, you know, just change the values from frame to frame of um, the color values. Because you can actually do this and fuck with the whole entire video before you upload it, you know. Just use all these uh, different video editors fuck with the image another thing that no one ever does I'll probably tell you later but uh, this is going to be within my ARG but I don't know if I'm actually going to physically create it yet for me I'm going to do is uh, continue the story out into my manga that this ARG is going to be in, but yeah, it's just going to be some random little piece I'll make, but I know I'm going to make a manga out of it. Anyways, you don't have to do that uh, if you don't want to. I suggest putting it in multiple forms of media out there just to get much more reach of people to get them in. Uh, the type of puzzles you're going to have is encryption puzzles, you know, so Try mathematical puzzles, uh, anything that uses a lot of logic. Try to draw in world events, you know, things that are actually happening. Draw that into your game world. Even bullshit, just, you know, hearsay people think, you know. Uh, how about this? Uh, post on there on, um, what is it, on Wikipedia about these videos make this weird obsession you know it just fucking twist things around change the facts and do all these weird shit you know whatever that has to do with it but have a whole entire 
a Wikipedia page or several Wikipedia pages based going deeper within your nonsense of your ARG. Pull in other things like uh, number stations or whatever, you know? Just intrigue people into wanting them to find out the answer. Even if they know that it's a game, have it fun. Have them more involved with it. Uh, Twitter is also a good way to do is the game interacting with the players in a one-on-one -on -one personal way. More so than a passive way through you know, videos or random texts, you know, they're reading in blogs and stuff, or on Facebook. But in Twitter, uh, one of the interesting ones that it was considered dead, but it's still alive, which is uh, Camdrome. If you haven't heard of Camdrome, here are a few links on it, you know. So, yeah. And I'll have the links on. Like, if you don't see anything here or whatever, it's probably because I didn't even do it yet. Uh, but always check in the description. There's usually going to be links on this. Because I'm still gathering the information when you probably see this video. At, depending on when you see it. Um, just work on one part of the project at a time. I suggest the easiest way of doing this is uh, set your beginning date and your end date. Okay, have the brief outline of your story of what it is. Make these dummy accounts. Set everything up first before you implement it. And then just like your videos, make sure you you do like about a month's worth, you know, about three months ahead of time. Oh, thank you. And, uh, oh, yeah, just make it like three months or more ahead of time, like if you're doing videos, so you have time to edit each video before you upload it. It's not a good idea to dump it all on one day, but some cases you probably would want to do that or just make a video once every every other day or at one day put one out uh, depending on your style uh, there is uh, 2h32 they always put out a video on the 23rd of every month and it just gets weirder and weirder you can do something like that pick a day one day out of every month or whatever you can choose any which way of your uploads of your videos but pick a form that you want to start out with and work with that and then add on to it if you're working with the team then have each member of the team actually doing their part and making it as encrypted and as weird as possible so yeah that's kind of the basis and uh, yeah, there'll be more links on that out on how to create a, an ARG or stuff anything that I find I'll keep on adding it to this video so yeah this is kind of a brief outline on how to do this but if you're wondering like just video games it, this kind of pertains the same way with games or any other you know forms of media like movies and whatever find out what you want to do create the story before actually doing the project because you don't want to jump into the project without a script because you have a basic idea that's all in your head but the problem is if you don't have it written down and have it you know organized right it's not going to make sense it's going to be a jumble of nonsense but if you're going to do that with an ARG that might hinder and it might actually help it more likely it will hinder it because you will lose focus you'll go one path and it strays off some other tangent that has you know has nothing connected to the original shit sometimes you want to probably do is keep on changing it as it's going on and updating it changing the storyline depending on how the people think and how they react to just 
roll with it. So, till then, have a good day. Oh yeah, whatever you do in life, always put your, your best work into it and always be awesome.